Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I'm Kara Kinnear in for Christine Pilar. Welcome to Atlanta and Company. We're so glad you're here. We hope you're having a good day, but if not, we're going to lift your spirits for the next 30 minutes and we start our show each and every day with some good news, something that'll hopefully make you smile. And today, you're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen, because we have the one and only America's favorite weatherman, Chesley McNeil. Hello, my friend. Happy New Year to you. Yeah, Happy New Year to you, Carrie. I, hopefully, I made people smile. <laughs> How's everything? You do. And I have to say, Jez, real quick, before you get to the story, if you're not following following Chesley on Instagram, it's at Chesley McNeil. Please do yourself a favor and do that right now because you posted something yesterday that has been staying with me. And it was I believe it was something like, um, oh, I have relax. Worrying never solved anything, and it's known for being inaccurate. So I leave you with those words, my friend, to get us started. Oh yeah, excited. yeah, yeah, yeah. My Monday so motivations. Nice. Yeah, I, you know, I I try to post something uh, positive for people to uh, look up to and and smile. You know, that's that's just who I am. I guess that's just who I am. You're the best. Thank You're you so best. much. Hey, I got some great stories for you today. I mean, these are and I call these um, these are like like soup kids with superpowers. You know, every now and again, you meet a young person and they do some extraordinary things and they just make you feel good. I got three of them for you, if we can get to all three. Well, let's start with the first one here. This is a kid out of California. His name is Ahmed, uh, uh, Ahmed Muhammad. That's his name. He's out of California. And uh, he's the first of his family to go to college, going to Stanford. So he already got his acceptance, mainly because of what he started. Now, because of the pandemic, he had to babysit his nephew and niece. And uh, his nephew one day said he hates science. And Ahmed loves science. He's like me, got a kid after my own heart. So he came up with these uh, hands-on experiments for his nephew to do, did it with his niece as well. They loved it, right? So he got with his teachers, told them the story, and they started putting together these kits to send them all around the, the world for kids to do hands-on science experiments. They call them Kits Cubed, Kits Cubed. And so what he did was he, uh, he started um, uh, boxing up these three hands-on experiments for kids and now people buy them all around the world uh, and and he's got a nice little partnership I mean he's sending out all these boxes people have bought into it and so it's a nonprofit he started this nonprofit called kids cubed and uh, got accepted to Stanford for his idea so he's doing great things man doing great things says I so I read about Ahmed too and I this kid is so accomplished at such a young age they were like he was point guard on the varsity basketball team oh, yeah. he does all these amazing things he got into Stanford and then I was like you know what I need to get one of those kits for my kids they're all $15 so they're affordable I looked it up you can order them right online but um thanks for sharing his story I I was inspired by him to say the least. So, okay, I think we have time for one more. One more, all right. So this is a, a sibling duo, all right. So uh, Hedda Gupta, you know, she used to volunteer at a nursing home. But then when the pandemic hit, you know, you couldn't go to nursing homes because they wanted to, uh, you know, separate folks that are high risk from others. And so she and her brother came up with an idea that I think is like really catching fire. Another nonprofit created from another kid about um, going out not be not being able to go out to a nursing home but being able to send care packages to them and uh, that's what she started it started because she couldn't get out this is uh Hedda and her uh her brother uh, and they wanted to combat loneliness so they came up with these care packages that have personal notes in them uh have these gifts in them and they send them to uh seniors all around the nation uh, it's called Brighten a Day, Brighten a Day. Other folks caught on to this. They saw what she was doing and they wanted to get in on it too. So they started sending her video messages so she can put into the care packages. And so this is what these seniors receive. They see, receive handwritten notes, they see, receive cards, they see, receive gifts, these uh, video messages, just so they can brighten their day, you know, just so they're not lonely anymore. And that was her motivation. So another superpower kid. I love that. Superpower kids to take us into the weekend. Chesley, thank you so much, my friend. I'll see you right back here on Monday. I appreciate you. Have a great weekend. All right. If you have a fun or interesting It's All Good story, send it to us on our Facebook page, or you can just use that hashtag, It's All Good. We hope to hear from you soon. We love to share your stories.